Hello and welcome. Today we're asking you, hey, stop using formulas when you can use flash fill instead. Now flash fill also has the keyboard shortcut of control and E. So let's get started. If you're new here, my name's Jeff from Finally Learn, where I teach financial skills using Excel. So flash fill, there's three different ways to do flash fill. There's a button if you go to the home ribbon and down below it has flash fill, that's one way to do it. There's a keyboard shortcut for Windows and Mac, it's Control E, and then there's a way to copy paste and then right click. So let's give you some examples. Now on the right column, I'm showing you the formulas that you normally would have to do if we did not have flash fill. So John Smith, first name, last name. So let's put together uh, their names. So John Smith, and you want to do this all the way down, and you can type all this down. You don't want to do this. We can use flash fill. So I'm going to go to the button here, flash fill, and it's going to pick up Fred Jones, Mary Williams, and so on. So that is flash fill, and there's a little symbol for flash fill, a little pop-up dialog for flash fill. Now, let's, let me show you the other ways to do it. You could highlight everything and do uh, control E, and that does everything. Uh, the other way to do it, you could do maybe Smith, comma, John. You might want to do last name, comma, first name. And then you could copy it all the way down. And then we take the plus and we say flash fill. And then that puts everything where we have Williams, comma, Mary, and Word, comma, Shannon. All right, so that's how you do of the three different ways to do flash fill. So let me show you some variations of what flash fill can do. Now you might want to have, this is uh, poorly done in terms of you have people's names, but you want the proper capitalization. So we might want to do uh, the last name Smith and then Jones. Sometimes if you need to do more than one um, to show the pattern, that's fine. If it doesn't recognize the pattern on the first iteration, then try another one or two and it'll get the pattern and it'll understand what's going on. Now, let's say the, um, the first name, let's make this the first name, John, and then we can do control E all the way down. We have Shannon and Tracy and Linda, so on. Now, this takes the place of, the first one took the place of concat or concatenate or text join. This takes the place of proper or lower or upper or whatever. Now you could do this if you want them to be all caps. Easily done. You just give it the example. This is John, we're shouting now. And so then you say, John, Fred, Mary, since it's all in caps, right? Now what happens if you have maybe a compound name like you might have uh, Mr. or Ms. or Dr or senator or something like that, president, and you might have it in the single cell. Here we have middle initials. So to get the last name, it used to be you'd have to figure out you'd pick the right uh, decimals or you'd do something like text split or text after or text before. So let's just do this. We can just type this in, Kennedy, and then control E, it's gonna pick up Johnson, Nixon, Ford, Carter, Reagan. Same thing with the first name. John, and it's going to pick up all the way through Ronald Reagan, right? So that's pretty easy. That replaces these possible formulas. So it's just going to be faster than building a formula from scratch. Now we could do something similar. We could do, uh, we could build a username. And so you might work at a place where the username is J Smith. And it's probably not going to recognize this one. It's just going to go J. Jones, J. Williams, J. Roberts. Okay, that's not going to be good enough. We want um, J. Smith and we want F. Jones. So now let me highlight these two and do Control E. It should have M. Williams, L. Roberts, T. Gold, and S. Word or Sword. That'd be a cool username, Sword. Yeah, give me an email, give, shoot that to me an email, sword at whatever. Now, you could build an email. You could certainly do an email. So you can say john.smith at xyz.edu. And then you can take that and 
flash fill it all the way down, shannon.word at xyz.edu. Also, you can pull from a text string or from a date. You can pull maybe the year, so 2023, and then you can do Control E, and it's got 2019, 2023, 2022, 2015, 2023. So this is how Flash Fill can save you time. Control E saves you a lot of time rather than going to try to hit that button at the very top right hand corner. So I hope this is helpful. Please like, please thumbs up, please subscribe. Give your comments down below. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I always try to respond to those questions and that way we can learn. Good luck. We'll see you on the next video.